Jake is back with us. Ozzy's back with us. And this is a new guy. This is Maverick RIX. First time visit for Maverick. And Jake's been with us many, many times. And Ozzy's been with me for a long time. Jake wants to play. Jessica's leaving all the dogs out. We just finished breakfast. Maverick came, so I tried. Hey, Jake, I'm trying to talk. Sit. Anyhow. Thank you, Jake. He really wants to play. Yep, here comes the boys. Here comes Duke. Here comes Bacon. Here comes Marley. And Gracie, are you Dale? You're, you're Gracie. Who else we got? Here's Dale. Everyone, the sniffing has begun. Take like fresh meat. Who else we got coming? Here's Lulu. Come on, guys, Spanky. There's Roxy. Here comes Ollie. Here comes Daisy Dog. And here's Jake. And here comes Max. Hey, Max. Max says, I remember you. You've been here before. You've been here before. Let's go play. But you're new. There's a new guy. Everyone's checking out the new guy. It's like, who are you? You smell different. You smell like uh, a Weimer Reimer. <laughs> There's bacon. Duke again. Maggie. And Molly. And Buddha. Buddha looks a little sore and tired. <laughs> I got Jake is, who just came, and uh, Ozzy, and the Weimarimer. All three boys about ready to sing. The boys are back in town. The boys are back in town. All right, I'll save it. I'll save it. <laughs> That's why I do dog boarding and dog training. Because I can't carry a tune if it was in a bucket. But I can howl with the best of them. Maverick is doing really well, being nice and standing still, not nipping at the other doggies, letting, them, letting everybody get their nose full. This will go on until the dogs are satisfied with the sniffing, and I'll let Maverick sniff them. Maverick has already shown a little interest in sniffing the other dogs, so that's a good sign. Maverick's like, well, we're, nobody else can sniff me? Hey, Maddie, they call out your name. Mommy's probably all stressing out going, my baby's being molested by all these other dogs. It's just nose contact. Everyone's getting their nose full. Jake fits in really good here. So does Ozzy. And Ozzy's had enough, Ozzy will turn and tell him, knock it off, that's enough sniffing. I'll give you 30 seconds of sniffing. After that, it's molestation, and I'm going to call it. That's my boundary. Ah, he's funny. <laughs> Labadoodle. And Jake shakes up full of energy. It's actually a good time to bring a, bring a new dog out here. Having Jake here running around is going to draw them away from the new dog. And Duke, that's where Duke plays. Duke, Duke is like, come here, come here. All right, who else we got? Hey, 
Duke. Slow down. Thank you. Well, you were white when you got here. Ozzy's still making friends. Now Ozzy's doing all the sniffing. Everyone sniffed Ozzy. Now Ozzy's going around going, I know you. I know you. I remember you. It's a real good sign. Maverick is sniffing, checking out the other dogs. Bless you, Bacon. Bless you. For those who are wondering, Spanky. American, American Bulldog. For those who are wondering. Is that a pit bull? No, that's an American Bulldog. Daisy, you're a little tired. This is your fourth day here now. Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday. Mommy had to work an extra day, so you got to stay. So you're finally running out of energy. So you're a little quieter today. Not so vocal, not so much in your face running around. I think you came back and said, geez, who's all these other dogs? This is my place. Daisy comes every week for daycare and pretty much thinks she owns the place at times. But this time around, she wasn't too sure about if she owned the place or not. No, you didn't get evicted. Hey, hey, Ozzy, don't be that friendly. Hey, hey, Jake, don't be that friendly. Oh, we got two Jakes. Hey, wasn't that the name of a movie, Two Jakes? We got Jake the Husky and Jake the Golden Retriever. Well, the Golden Retriever? Hmm, not golden. Now I'm thinking about colors. Do we have a rainbow here? Maybe someone needs to bring me a blue dog. We got like all the colors. Hey, 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 Buddha. I know that's your friend Maggie, but that's enough. What, are you saying you want to go now? The tail's wagon? The tail's wagon? Yeah, look at all the bl black smoke there. See, there just went 20,000 miles off the tires. Let's smoke them tires and burn them. I got money to burn. Knucklehead kids. <laughs> I'm 55 years old. <laughs> Did I just call kids knuckleheads? <laughs> oh, man. Am I... Am I my... Am I my father now? <laughs> Alright, you go free. See how you handle this. Definitely a humanized dog. Wants me. I think I'll be sending a, a text to the owner saying, Congratulations, you have a dog. It might take two days, but it's like, Remember, you're a dog. Play with dogs, not with me. There's that vocal Daisy I know. Now we gotta walk around. <laughs> Trying to get away from uh, that one. Quit being so cute. 
Hey, hey, Ollie. cheerleader. Gosh, you should go out for the cheerleading squad. Be a player and play. Don't cheer. I thank you for your assistance. If you noticed, they were all having a good time playing. Some people can't handle that kind of playing. Bacon has turned out to be like my left-hand man right there next to me. Like as soon as the dogs start getting really elevated, having fun, playing, Bacon wants to calm them down. So Bacon was going in there to break it up, and there wasn't a fight going on. They were just playing. So Bacon was going to go in there and tell them, knock it off. And that's when I called Bacon off. If you watch it back, go back and replay it. You'll see it. So I'm paying attention. I know the personalities of the dogs. I know what's happening. I know that Bacon, as soon as they start getting elevated like that, Bacon's going to want to go in there and, and uh, not fight with them or anything. Just be like a, a grandparent. Kids, you're playing too rough. Uh, slow it down. Slow it down. See, when you get fresh dogs here, then everyone's going to get more tired, which is really nice. So Jake's here for the day. So Jake is going to burn off a lot of the other dog's energy, and Jake's going to get tired. So he's a lot of dogs to choose from. Molly's been wiped out, tired-wise. Hey, 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 food up! No! You're gonna get dust boot? You're gonna get dust boot? For those who don't know, dust boot. I wear these slip-on shoes, no steel toes. I don't want anyone saying if Arm Paul kicks dogs, but I will come in behind them. I will lift their ass into the air with my shoe. It's not a kick. It's basically you're lifting, lifting right up, and it really surprises the heck out of them. Some of my past videos, you can go and see it. As I found it to be a fairly here we go. Jake knows it. <laughs> Jake knows it. I'm trying to talk. Stop. Sit. Down. Down. All the way. What part of down did you understand? Okay. Now it's almost 15 minutes. I got 10 seconds to say goodbye. Country Oaks Bed and Biscuit Inn. There's always room at the end for your good doggy. Farmer Paul signing off.